सो अब टास्क इज टू एनालाइज कोकर्नल ऑफ आई स्टार एन माइनस वन या दिस इज द टास्क वी कैप्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस सो टू एनालाइज इट वी फर्स्ट हैव टू डिस्कस फ्री रेजोल्यूशन सो वॉट इज अ फ्री रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ एन अबीलियन ग्रुप सो दिस इज नथिंग बट एन एग्जैक्ट सीक्वेंस या सो यू फॉर्म एन एग्जैक्ट सीक्वेंस somehow of the following form yeah so this is an this is an exact sequence so kernel is equal to image and thus the homology groups of the sequence are trivial yeah so this is the exact sequence so if you can form such an exact sequence and uh, the construction of this exact sequence is given on page 194 of hatcher in one of the proofs so if you have such an exact sequence this exact sequence ending in h is called the free resolution of the abelian group h and uh, here the important thing is that each of these f i's that is f2 f1 f0 and so on are all of them are free now we dualize it yeah by applying the home so obviously we will have to reverse the arrows and what we get is a cochain complex now extremely important this cochain complex is not exact yeah this is just a complex so we can talk about homology groups or cohomology groups here once we dualize it notice that we could not talk about homology or cohomology groups in the exact sequence above because if the sequence is exact then they are trivial but we can talk about it once we dualize it yeah we have seen this before that if you dualize something then uh, it is not important or it is not necessary that the exactness would be preserved so yeah that is it i just put stars on it so that you know that we are talking about a cochain complex yeah or a dualized complex now since this is a complex and it is not exact because uh, dualization does not necessarily preserve exactness we can talk about the cohomology groups as i just mentioned so let us write give the notation of the cohomology groups of such a cochain complex or you can say homology groups it doesn't matter the idea is the same kernel of f star n plus 1 modulo image so the most important sequence we are interested in is that the sequence which arises naturally yeah boundaries are contained in cycles which are contained in the homology group yeah so that is the natural sequence and we dualized it and found that dualization is not exact yeah so first you write down the exact sequence with connected to a homology group as we have done before on the previous slide we had bn minus 1 going into zn minus 1 which went into the homology group and now i'm just writing the dual sequence now we saw that this dual sequence is not necessarily exact although we started with an exact sequence where boundaries went into cycles and this part f i'm going to call free resolution yeah so although it is not strictly a uh, exact sequence it is just a cochain complex so we would be interested in the homology groups of this so 
very important sequence we had uh, talked about before was we wanted to discuss the co-kernel of i star n minus 1 and you see this co-kernel of i star n minus 1 is nothing but this the first cohomology group it this just follows from the definition So what do we want to show? So we want to show that this uh, free resolution does not matter, that I want to replace this f in the cohomology group by just the homology group, yeah? So what matters is that I want to, in the free resolution, it should not matter how I resolve the chain. So what is important is I want to somehow replace this f by the homology group yeah this was the homology group we started with there is no star here yeah it's just the homology group so this homology group comes from 0 going into bn minus 1 which goes into zn minus 1 then you do the projection map to get the homology group so this is what we want to show so how should we proceed about it so the, there is an important lemma and this is on page 194 of Hatcher. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do the proof of this. It is long. But uh, the proof is enlightening in the sense that it tells you how to do these uh, or construct these free resolutions. So you are given two free resolutions f and f prime. Of abelian groups. And if we have a homomorphism between two groups h and h prime who have these resolutions f and f prime then we should be able to extend this morphism alpha between these two free resolutions and uh, yeah that is pretty much it So this, yeah, so this free resolution alpha can be extended to a chain map from f to f prime. Yeah, the proof is on page 194 of Hatcher and as I said before, I will not cover it here. So the important part is to know that such a map can be, uh, such a homomorphism between two groups can be lifted. Yeah, so actually the important part of this lemma is part B. Uh, which requires us to use part A. So each of the squares in this figure commute. So furthermore, if you have another map, say, alpha prime
yeah, which again extends alpha, then such two maps are chain homotopic. So for any two free, free resolutions f and f prime of h there are these uh, natural isomorphisms. So we are talking about two different resolutions of the same abelian group. In the part A, we are talking about two different abelian groups and the relationship between their free resolutions given a homomorphism between those two groups. Here we are talking about two different free resolutions of a same group. So the beauty is, which is actually everything is consequence of part A, is that it does not matter how you resolve. the group yeah so it does not matter whether you have chain which is f or f prime yeah there f represents f2 f1 f0 and f prime represents f2 prime f1 prime f0 prime yeah so instead of the chain we can just write the abelian group h which we were trying to resolve so this is independent of the chain and that is the point we wanted to make 